Hey, welcome back to my channel. I have not done one of these in a while. I skipped the July favorites because I mentioned the life update in another video. I'll put that in one of the cards up above, beside that side. Um, but um, yeah, so I had a pretty busy August. I started a new job. Um, if you saw the the spend the day with me video where I mentioned that, you probably would know that already. So it just started this week. Um, today is Saturday, August 20, no, sorry, September 2nd, ooh, September 2nd, so I'm just like, um, yeah, sort of just doing this really last minute, but I've had this list going on for a while, so I figured I might as well just, you know, let you know what my favorites were, but yeah, I just haven't done one of these, like, sit-down videos in a while, so hopefully I'm not too rusty and I'm not super awkward about it. Um, and you know, as you might notice, my background's a little bit different. Hopefully this is temporary. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna stop rambling now and we're gonna get into the August favorites. Oh, last thing, if you do celebrate it, happy Labor Day. I'm very excited about this long weekend, even though it means that fall's coming. I do love fall, but I'm just really sad that summer's ending. But yeah, let's, let's get started with the favorites. The first thing is hair. It's uh, kind of together, I'll do the hair and shampoo, but I'll mention them separately since they are kind of different. Um, so this is the Lush Rehab Shampoo. Um, I used to work at Lush, so I they come out with new products all the time, but I do know quite a bit about this one and I love using this one. So this one is more like, um, it has like, it smells sort of citrusy. Ooh, I got some on my face. So what you do is you like shake it and uh, it has all these enzymes in it. it, has like a ton of citruses in it. So it's really nice and cleansing. I don't use this every day. I probably use this about a couple times a week because I do have oily hair and I do like to do like a nice little like deep cleanse. So I think this is probably one of their most more cleansing shampoos, but I, I really like the smell. Um, it just, it's really nice and like refreshing. It's got a little bit of like citrus to it. So, all right. So... Um, so the way I think for, I don't know about now, but when I work there, their hair care is not really like sort of grouped together. Like this is a shampoo and conditioner set that always goes together. They kind of like work with whatever works with your hair or like it's a little bit more customized. But this is the American Cream Hair Conditioner, one of their more moisturizing conditioners. And this one has, um, has it says, how the flowing, shining locks you've always dreamt of with a strawberry vanilla milkshake conditioner. Now, I don't think it smells like a strawberry vanilla milkshake, but I think it does smell like something sweet. And I do like that it's a creamy, ooh, car. I like that it's a, like a creamy formula. I don't think like of all the stuff that I've used conditioner wise, this is the most moisturizing, but I think this is really good for everyday use. Um, I usually use the rehab and this con together, but this I think you can use it um, every day and I think it'd be fine. Um, and all of the Lush products are vegetarian, a lot of them are vegan too. So if you, uh, and they don't do animal testing, so I think it's really, I think they're really good hair care, I will say that. So yeah, so this has been a favorite of mine. I've actually been using both of these products for quite some time now, but um, since I've been working there, but, or when I used to work there. So, um, can't talk today. So this and the rehab shampoo, I really, really like. So funny story about the next one. I, as you know, I really only use the Benefit, um, what is it? The Benefit, crap, what, what's it called? I'm gonna look this up, it's gonna bother me. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably know that I really only use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, but that has recently changed. I have a new favorite now, and drum roll please, it is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. So I have been wanting to try this for a while, ever since I think Anna from the Anna Edit mentioned it, um, and lots of people rave about this too, but I don't like trying new mascara because I think that they just don't always work for me because I have very thin lashes and I feel like some, I don't like big wands, um, the big brushes I don't like. Like I tried the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex Mascara and I hated it. So I actually, so what I did was I went to the store 
got a small one, liked it so much that I decided to get a big one. So now I have two. And um, the packaging on this is huge, but it is it is very easy to find, which is kind of nice. But it does have like a very um, wide brush, which I normally wouldn't like, but it's kind of like curved. And um, it does give me like a really nice like volume and lengthening. And it doesn't smudge, which is great. I think like it's it just does really well and doesn't clump when I put it on, which is a big pet peeve of mine. Um, I think like for curling wise is not the greatest for me which um the roller lash does a better job of but i think if i curl my lashes you know if i curl my lashes really well beforehand it doesn't really become an issue so i really like this so this one stays with me like on um, sort of like my makeup pile and this one i will use when i'm traveling so i'm like trying a new bunch i just have like new stuff that i'm trying that like are breaking my um the the usual that I've been using. So I found a new eyebrow product, which is very, very surprising, but I've wanted to try this for a while too. It's the Hourglass, um, what's it called? The Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil, you know the one. It has like the spoolie on one end, and then it has like the triangular kind of um, pencil or like product on the other end. So I have this in the color Ash, I really, really like this. I think it's different from the Anastasia one, um, formula-wise, as, as this is a little bit more waxy and creamier, and because the it's a wider tip, I have it's um, it took me a little while to get adjusted to what the how to do my tail, but I am using this today, and I think color-wise is a better match for me. Although I can easily fix out the Anastasia one, but what I really, really like about this one. Um, is the packaging it feels really sturdy like the Anastasia one the past couple ones that I've that I've bought the spoolie breaks off when I'm like traveling with it which is such a pet peeve because I I do use a spoolie like on on every eyebrow pencil that I have so I was really annoyed that the spoolie kept breaking but this I think is uh, really sturdy I might try out some other colors too but I think this has been a surprising favorite this month okay so I have another mini on top of the Marc Jacobs mascara this is another thing that I saw in the Anna edit that I really wanted to try and it happened to be on like one of the point rewards thing when you check out Sephora so um, this is the cover FX custom enhancer drops this is in moonlight so this I love. I think if I run out of this, I will definitely buy a full size one. But um, it's it's just super super highlighty. I've been wearing all the favorites that I've mentioned today, so I'm wearing this on my cheekbones. I don't know if you can really tell where I'm going, like all the highlights, like all the high points on my face. But it's just super nice. It's it's not as so. It's more. It's definitely super highlighty. Like you don't need a lot of it. Um, I feel like with the Glossier, the Halo Scope highlighter, I can like pack it on and blend it in and it kind of like looks really natural. This one you kind of be a little bit um, careful about because it does have like a lot of like shimmer in it. But I do like that it's super easy to blend. Um, it does give like a really nice glow, which I really like in like the summertime and the fall time. So this I love. I've um, been using this a lot. I love it on like in the inner corner of my eyes, even if I don't do my whole face. It just gives like such, it just makes my face look really awake. So we're gonna move away from the beauty products now. Um, I did buy a pair of jeans l last month, I think, maybe in August, that i have like completely obsessed with. Um, I don't have a clip of me wearing them, unfortunately, but I will tell you what they are. So they are the Seven for All Mankind Kimmy Crop. Um, I'm short. I'm 5'3", so these, I think, like, are just, like, really good for me because they actually hit, like, the ankle uh, on me. They're not really, like, crop jeans on me, I guess. But they, um, I'll link them down below as well. I don't know if this is, like, this particular wash is still on sale, but I think they have other, like, um, colors as well. But this has just been really great. I love the color. It's perfect for, like, for fall um, and it's got a little bit of stretch to it which I really like. In my new job I wear I can wear jeans so I, that's gonna be like my everyday uh, uniform now so I thought like this is something worth investing in but this is also on sale so it wasn't actually that bad but I thought like 
if you are short or if you want something like um, that's on the more crop side with a little bit stretch, I definitely recommend these. These are so, so, so comfortable. Took no breaking in. You know when you like put on jeans and sometimes you have to like jump into them and just like to get them in to wait for them to stretch? Never happened with these. I've washed them once already. They're great. So highly, highly recommend these if you are in the market for um, a new pair of jeans. All right, so last item. This is definitely the splurge of um, of the summer, and I think you might have seen them in maybe my June vlog where I mentioned them and I didn't know whether or not I was going to keep them, but I did. So they are the Prada sunglasses. Um, I don't know what they're called. I think the salesperson told me they are something like in the cinema line, but I'll, I'll show you them to you. So they, um, so they are polarized a little bit more pricey because of that too, but um, I love the shape of these. I don't actually don't have that many sunglasses. I only have like one other pair with my, which are my Ray-Bans, and then I have these, and um, that's really it. I only have two pairs as, as of now. Um, but I bought them and I felt really guilty, but then I was like, you know, I'll just decide to keep them because I, I wear them all the time and um, so I decided to include them in like my, my August favorites. I was going to include them in July favorites had I done one, but this um, I'll put them on for you. So they look like this. They have the gold band here and they have the gold band here as well. I tried on a couple, like several different shapes, but this one I guess it's kind of round and it's kind of like, but it's got like corners here. I was a little worried that it would make me look kind of look like a bug. But <laughs> I've gotten over that since. I really like the look of this. I don't have anything like this. Um, but I do like that. Sorry, I'll put them back on. So I like that they have like the darker top up here and then they kind of like, there's like a little ombre or like a, like a gradient down to the bottom here. So I really like the shape of these. I like the gold detail on them. They are obviously very, very pricey. Um, but I did get like a little discount on them. But I've been loving these. I like that they also don't have the little nose thing. Like, you know, that um, that thing that, that kind of catches on your hair when you when you put your sunglasses up like this. So th these don't have that, which I like. Um, yeah, so these are, or have been, a really, really great summer favorite. All right, so that's it, guys. Those are my favorites for the month of August. I guess you can loop in July as well, but, yeah, um, I uh, hope to really be on top of my scheduling or like my posting schedule moving forward. I know last week I did something that was like a Sunday night, like half an hour before Game of Thrones, so that was kind of silly of me. But yeah, hopefully if you're watching this, it's on a Sunday morning. Hopefully I did a really good job of being productive and editing. And happy Labor Day. Um, I hope you have a really good long weekend. And yeah, I will... Um, I will see you in the next one. I will be really good about posting, I promise. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Or if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, until then, I will see you soon. Bye.